Okay, my name is Steve Junk. Uh, we're Barnes uh, Jewish Hospital at Phoresis, and I'm about to give platelets here in a little bit. My son was uh, a cancer patient here twice, and I've been given for the last four years. Jeremy was 26. He was a staff sergeant in the United States Air Force. Uh, we got him in here. Uh, he was in here for, well, from December until, I guess it was March or April. So he's in about four months. They, they beat that cancer. But the only problem is, is it was such a harsh treatment that it caused AML. And uh, he uh, couldn't beat that. We tried. The last time he was in, he was given platelets himself quite often. And he would see the yellow bag come in, the bag of yellow fluid come in, and he would go, oh, good, yeah. Because I guess it didn't make him feel real well, but it helped build his platelets up, which kept him from bleeding out. So uh, we uh, contacted uh, his boss, which was General Peterson, and we also contacted uh, General McNabb, who was a four-star general at Scott. And uh, they uh, sent emails throughout the base in the year of uh, 2000 and... I want to say six. Barb informed me that they had the most new platelet donors ever. And I was because of, excuse me, because of Jeremy and us. The uh, last time he was in, we did have a lot, a lot of donors uh, that come in specifically to give for him. And we still have many of those still coming back, which is really good. Not only for cancer patients, but also for people at emergency rooms who are bleeding and need something to stop the bleeding. For platelets do in the body is, is help coagulate the blood to stop bleeding. So if you don't have any platelets, which the last time Jeremy kept coming, he had nine was what he had. And I usually carry somewhere around 250,000. So uh, he had nine, which means he's not gonna stop like bleeding. His, uh, his sister, my daughter Heather, uh, was here and she was giving every four to five days for him, which really you shouldn't do, but he was, uh, he was more receptive to her platelets than to most, so they got doctor's clearance for her to give. As long as her platelet count was up, they would let her give. So she was giving every four to five days over that three, three month period. I was doing pretty well the same for a while, but uh, I, uh, I will have my 90 second get donation today is what I'm doing, is 90, my 90 second one today. Hopefully by the April uh, lunch or supper, whatever you want to call it, uh, I'll be able to get my 100th in, which is a big milestone here for getting 100 platelet donations.